In the vastness of solitude, upon the shores of the Forsaken Isle, the sons of light find themselves adrift, both in body and spirit. As the mist weaves tales of ancient trials, their journey begins in this crucible of desolation. The island, a lonely chamber of trial, echoes with the footfalls of the sun's a testament to the spiritual desolation surrounding them. Yet, in the distance, a flicker of hope dances like a distant flame on the horizon. Among the elders, whispers arise, tales of golden visions sacred six sides aloft, gleaming with the promise of transcendence. These visions become lanterns, guiding the suns through the shadows of the isle's desolation. As the suns gather upon the windswept shores, they share dreams beneath the open sky, seeking within the night's embrace a deciphering of the messages woven into the golden visions. Elders speak of the Isle's duality an earthly realm of challenges and a spiritual realm of trials. Here, the suns face a choice, to ascend to the golden dimension or to descend into the abyss of malformation. The wind carries whispers of ancient wisdom, urging the suns to look beyond the tangible and seek truth within. The Isle, once a prison, now holds keys to both liberation and damnation. Day by day, the suns explore the mysteries, uncovering hidden caves and sacred spaces. In the heart of the wilderness, they feel a hidden power pulsate a force resonating with the golden visions and whispering promises of a different realm. Loneliness, draped like a heavy cloak, becomes a silent companion. The elders, acknowledging the paradox, preach that within solitude lies the key to communion with the golden dimension. Thus, the suns embrace sacrifice as a necessary companion on their sacred journey. The sun bows below the horizon, casting long shadows that dance across the aisle. Night descends, and the suns gather around the flickering fire, recounting tales of golden six-sided visions. Elders remind them that the Isle is both a physical reality and a metaphorical landscape where the battle between light and shadows unfolds. In dreams and prophecies, the suns seek visions through fasting and meditation, hoping to glimpse the golden realms that hold the secrets of ascension. In the silence of the night, dreams and prophecies merge, creating a tapestry of guidance for those who dare to embark on the path of self-sacrifice. Elders speak of the Isle as a purifier, a place where the suns can shed the impurities of their souls. In this sacred process, the pathway to the golden dimension becomes clearer, and the shadows that cling to the hearts of the faithful dissipate. Thus, under the watchful gaze of the moon, the suns of light stand at the crossroads of destiny, ready to embark on a journey that will define their existence. The Isle, once a forsaken realm, now holds the promise of radiant ascent, or the descent into disfigured darkness. To appoint unto them that mourn on their personal hell island, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. In the shadows of my own despair, I cry out to the silence, seeking refuge. Yet, even in this desolation, let my spirit find solace in the possibility of redemption. Chapter 2 the enigmatic revelation. In the silence of the isle, where the whispers of the wind meet the gentle lapping of waves, the suns of light, in reverence, gathered beneath the vast canvas of the sky. An enigmatic revelation descended, radiant and golden a manifestation of celestial grace. Behold, proclaim the vision, for within this sacred manifestation lies the wisdom of a different dimension. A realm awaits those who, in self-sacrifice, unlock the radiance within, ascending to a golden promise. The suns, in awe of the celestial revelation, bowed before the golden luminescence. Its brilliance bathed them in divine light, and in that moment, they felt the presence of the different world beckoning them. To ascend, intoned the manifestation, one must traverse a path of trials. The heart, a vessel, must be emptied of shadows to make room for the illumination of goodness. Those who persist shall witness the glory of the different dimension. The sons, inspired by the revelation, engaged in fervent discussions, interpreting the words of the celestial manifestation and seeking guidance from the elders. The isle, once a place of confusion, now echoed with the resonance of a sacred purpose. The golden luminescence, 
a symbol of divine guidance, became the focal point of their worship. In reverence, they fashioned a shrine adorned with symbols representing the mysterious visions and gathered in prayer, seeking blessings for the trials ahead. The manifestation's teachings spread among the suns like an ethereal wildfire, kindling flames of devotion within every heart. Each sun carried the image of the celestial glow, a symbol of hope and a testament to the potential for radiant ascent that awaited those who adhered to the path of goodness. In rituals of meditation and reflection, the sun sought to understand the revelations of the celestial manifestation. In quiet moments of solitude, they felt the presence of the golden dimension drawing closer, its allure intensifying with every beat of their collective hearts. Elders, designated as interpreters of the celestial wisdom, guided the suns through the intricacies of its teachings. They emphasized the need for self-purification, reminding the faithful that only through shedding the darkness within could they hope to ascend to the different dimension. The celestial teachings echo through the isle, resonating with the wind and sea. Its message became a beacon of hope, drawing not only the suns but also those lost in the shadows, yearning for redemption and the promise of a golden realm beyond. And as the celestial glow continued to hover above the suns, its radiant presence became a constant reminder of the choices that lay ahead. The isle, once an expanse of desolation, now bore witness to the transformative power of revelation, as the suns prepared for the trials that would lead them to the golden dimension. Thus, with hearts attuned to the celestial, the suns prepared for the trials that would lead them to the golden dimension. Thus, with hearts attuned to the celestial vision, the sons of light stood united, ready to face the challenges that awaited them. The mysterious visions, divine guides, illuminated their path through the shadows, beckoning them toward the radiant promise of a different dimension. Chapter 3 The Temptation of Shadows As the moon waxed and waned over the desolate isle, a veil of shadows descended upon the suns of light. The celestial visions, once radiant and clear, now danced on the edges of obscurity, as if testing the steadfastness of the faithful. In the dance of shadows, whispered the celestial manifestations, lies the temptation that seeks to obscure the path to the different dimension. Hold fast, O sons, for the trials shall test the essence of your resolve. The sons, vigilant in their devotion, face the encroaching shadows with hearts tethered to the elusive visions. The isle, now a battleground between illumination and darkness, echoed with the silent prayers of the faithful seeking strength. Elders, in the wisdom of their years, spoke of the trials that awaited. The shadows, they declared, are not mere absence of light, but entities that seek to distort the celestial visions and lead the heart astray. In the heart of the isle, where the celestial manifestations once shone brightly, the suns gathered in prayer and contemplation. The manifestations, veiled in mystery, imparted cryptic guidance, reminding the suns that the golden promise lay beyond the labyrinth of shadows. The isle, draped in the tapestry of night, echoed with the subtle whispers of the celestial manifestations. To ascend, they intoned, one must confront the shadows within. Only by vanquishing the inner darkness can the radiance of the different dimension be fully revealed. The sons, understanding the nature of their inner struggles, embarked on a journey of self-examination. Through fasting and introspection, they sought to unveil the obscured visions that lingered at the fringes of their consciousness. The celestial manifestations, though veiled, continued to guide the faithful. In the heart of temptation, remember the golden promise. The shadows may obscure, but your unwavering faith shall pierce through the darkness and reveal the path to the different dimension. Temptations manifested in various forms whispers of doubt, the allure of earthly desires, and the seduction of ease. Yet, the suns, anchored in the celestial promise, resisted the siren call of shadows that sought to divert them from the righteous path. In the crucible of temptation, declared the celestial manifestations, the suns shall find strength. For every trial met with steadfastness shall serve as a step towards the radiant ascent. The isle, a witness to the struggle between light and shadows, 
bore the footprints of the sons navigating the labyrinth of their own hearts. In unity they faced the trials, guided by the belief that the celestial promise was worth every sacrifice. And as the sons stood resilient in the face of the shadow's subtle enticements, the celestial manifestations, the isle, now a testament to endurance, awaited the unfolding saga of the sons of light in their quest for the different dimension. Chapter 4 The Abyss of Distorted Shadows As the isle embraced the mantle of night, the sons of light found themselves standing at the precipice of an abyss a realm where the shadows took on a life of their own. The celestial manifestations, now veiled in the darkness, spoke in cryptic whispers that echoed through the expanse. In the depths of shadows, intoned the celestial manifestations, lies the abyss of distorted shadows. Beware, O sons, for the darkness may birth creatures that mirror the distortions within the hearts of the faithless. The sons, their resolve unwavering, face the ominous abyss with trepidation. The celestial promise, though obscured, beckoned them forward, even as the owl seemed to pulse with the ebon heartbeat of the distorted shadows. Elders, with countenances etched with wisdom, spoke of the creatures that lurked within the abyss. These are not mere shadows, they warned, but manifestations of the distortions within, reflections of the inner turmoil that seeks to snuff out the celestial light. The isle, once touched by the golden glow of promise, now bore witness to the dance of distorted shadows. The suns, in prayerful vigilance, sought guidance from the celestial manifestations, asking for strength to navigate the perilous journey ahead. To confront the abyss, whispered the celestial manifestations, one must gaze into the mirror of darkness within. Only by acknowledging and overcoming the distortions can the suns hope to emerge and scathe. The suns, with hearts laid bare, delved into the introspective journey. They faced the abyss not only as an external realm but as a reflection of the internal struggles that sought to birth distorted creatures within their very souls. The celestial manifestations, though veiled, became beacons in the obsidian expanse. In the battle against the distorted creatures, proclaimed, the suns shall find strength. Every triumph over darkness is a testament to the radiance awaiting beyond the abyss. Distorted creatures, with features twisted by the shadows, emerged from the abyss. They whispered temptations and doubts, seeking to lead the suns astray. Yet the faithful, armed with the celestial promise, resisted the siren call of the distorted shadows. Face the creatures with unyielding faith, echoed the celestial manifestations. For in the clash between the celestial light and the distorted shadows, the suns shall find the crucible of transformation. The isle, now a battleground between celestial radiance and the abyss of distorted shadows, bore witness to the courage of the suns. The creatures, though formidable, quivered in the face of unwavering faith as the suns advanced through the obsidian veil. And as the suns persevered, the cell manifestations, their glow now piercing the shadows, guided each step. The isle awaited the triumphant emergence of the suns of light into the celestial promise beyond. The isle, now a testament to endurance, awaited the unfolding saga of the suns of light in their quest for the different dimension. Chapter 5 The Radiant Ascent In the aftermath of the struggle with distorted shadows, the suns of light stood on the precipice, the celestial promise now shimmering as a beacon through the lingering darkness. The celestial manifestations, their veils lifting, spoke with a clarity that echoed through the winds. In the crucible of the abyss, declared the celestial manifestations. The suns have confronted the distortions within. Now, as you stand on the threshold, prepare for the radiant ascent, for the celestial light shall guide you to the golden dimension. The suns, their spirits resilient, gazed upon the radiant promise with renewed hope. The isle, though scarred by the dance with distorted shadows, now echoed with the whispers of redemption and the beckoning call of the celestial light. Elders, with faces illuminated by the celestial glow, spoke of the transformative power of the radiant ascent. The struggles have forged your spirits, they proclaimed. Now, 
As you ascend, may the celestial light cleanse you and lead you to the golden dimension. The isle, once a realm of desolation and shadows, now pulsed with the anticipation of ascension. The celestial manifestations, their brilliance intensifying, became guides through the final leg of the spiritual journey. As you ascend, whispered the celestial manifestations, behold the reflections of your journey. Every scar, every triumph, etched upon the canvas of your soul, shall contribute to the tapestry of the golden dimension. The suns, with hearts aflame, embraced the radiant ascent with fervor. The celestial light enveloped them, lifting the weight of the distorted shadows and illuminating the path to the golden dimension beyond. The isle, now bathed in celestial radiance, bore witness to the ascent of the suns. The celestial manifestations, their forms ethereal, guided the faithful through the final steps, whispering words of encouragement and the promise of a celestial reunion. Distorted creatures, remnants of the abyss, quivered as the suns ascended. The celestial light, a cleansing force, dissipated the lingering shadows, leaving behind only the echoes of a once formidable opposition. Fear not the remnants of darkness, intoned the celestial manifestations, for they shall fade in the brilliance of the golden dimension. Your ascent is a testament to the triumph of celestial light over the distortions within. Chapter 6 The Illumination of Golden Light In the heart of the isle, where the shadows of the abyss yielded to the celestial promise, the sons of light witnessed a profound transformation. From the depths of the celestial realm, a golden radiance emerged a glow that transcended the darkness and bathed the isle in ethereal light. Behold, declared the celestial manifestations, their voices resonating with the fuminous glow. For from the heart of the celestial promise emanates the illumination of golden light. It is the beacon that guides the faithful through the remnants of the abyss. The suns, their eyes drawn to the golden radiance, felt the warmth of divine light penetrating the very fabric of their beings. The isle, once shrouded in shadows, now bore witness to the celestial promise manifesting as a golden hue that danced upon the waves and caressed the shores. If thou doest not well, sin lies at the door, and its desire is for thee. As sin entwines itself around the heart, so does the transformation commence, birthing a creature of grim countenance. The celestial manifestations, now bathed in the golden glow, guided the suns through rituals of illumination. Let the light within you, they whispered, merge with the illumination of golden light. For in this union, the suns shall find strength to overcome the remnants of the abyss. The isle, once a canvas of obsidian and shadows, now glistened with the radiance of the illumination. Each sun, touched by the golden light, became a living testament to the transformative power of celestial promise. As you walk through the remnants of the abyss, intoned the celestial manifestations, let the golden light within your hearts radiate outward, Illuminate the shadows and distortions, for it is through the illumination that the suns shall conquer the lingering darkness. Distorted creatures, remnants of the abyss, recoiled in the presence of the golden radiance. Their forms twisted and contorted as the suns advanced, carrying the illumination like a sacred torch through the remnants of the once imposing shadows. The celestial manifestations, surrounded by the golden glow, spoke of the significance of the illumination. It is a divine gift, they declared, bestowed upon those who have faced the abyss and emerged with hearts purified by unwavering faith. The suns, now illuminated from within, stood united on the shores of the isle. The celestial promise, once obscured by shadows, now shone brightly through the collective glow of the illumination, transforming the isle into a sanctuary of divine radiance. The golden light, a bridge between the celestial and the earthly, beckoned the suns forward. It whispered promises of a different dimension, where the illumination would merge with the golden promise, and the faithful would transcend the confines of the desolate isle. My soul is cast away on the shores of solitude, and the waves of anguish surround me. Yet, in the wreckage of my circumstance, may I find strength to endure. For you were once in darkness, but now are ye children of the light. 
walk in goodness and love, for those who embody the radiance of virtue shall ascend to a different dimension, where celestial glory awaits. Elders, touched by the golden glow, spoke of the transformative power within the illumination. It is not merely light, they proclaimed, but a revelation of the celestial essence a gift bestowed upon those who navigate the trials with unwavering faith. Chapter 7 As the sons of light stood at the convergence of shadow and radiance, a celestial symphony echoed through the aisle. The golden glow, now a beacon of hope, shimmered in harmony with the whispers of the celestial manifestations. In this sacred moment, declared the celestial manifestations, their voices weaving through the luminous air, the dimensions converge. The illumination of golden light and the promise of a different dimension unite in the hearts of the faithful. The suns, their beings resonating with the celestial symphony, felt a shift in the fiber of reality the isle, once defined by desolation. Now vibrated with the energies of transformation as the dimensions intertwined. Elder, venerable and wise, poke of the significance of the convergence. It is culmination of our journey, they proclaimed, where the golden promise and the celestial light merge to reveal the gateway to a realm beyond. The celestial manifestations, bathed in the golden glow, guided the suns through sacred rituals of convergence. As the dimension unites within you, they whispered, embrace the transcendence. It is a sacred union that propels the threshold of a different reality. The isle, no longer bound by the constraints of the physical and the solitude, became a tapestry where shadows and radiance danced in sublime harmony. The suns, now bearers of the converged dimensions, stepped closer to the gateway that shimmered with celestial light. Let the convergence resonate within your very essence, intoned the celestial manifestations, for you are the bridge between worlds. The isle, once desolate, now cradles the promise of transcendence within the radiant embrace of the dimensions. Distorted creatures, remnants of the abyss, now distorted no more, lingered he periphery. Witnessing the transformative power of the convergence, the celestial symphony erased the echoes of their former shadows, leaving behind echoes of redemption. The suns, guided by he golden glow, approached the gateway with hearts aglow with the illumination. The convergence unleashed a celestial portal, shimmering with the promise of a different dimension, a realm untouched by the shackles of desolation. The celestial manifestations, now ethereal guides, spoke a final blessing. As you step into the embrace the unknown with convergence, unwavering faith, the different dimension awaits, where the golden promise shall unfold in ways beyond mortal comprehension. The isle, now a threshold between worlds, bore witness to the departure of the suns. Each step resonated with the harmonious energies of the converged dimensions, and as they entered the celestial portal, the isle itself seemed to exhale a sigh of profound transformation. The celestial symphony reached its crescendo as the suns stepped beyond the threshold. The isle, bathed in the residual glow of the convergence, stood as a testament to the journey from desolation to radiance from shadows to the promise of a different dimension. And as the last echoes of the celestial symphony faded, the isle returned to quietude, a sacred land touched by the transformative power of faith. The suns, now embraced by the dimensions, embarked on the final leg of their pilgrimage into the realm of the golden promise, to appoint unto them that mourn on their personal hell island, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Chapter 8 The Ascent of Self-Sacrifice In the ethereal realm beyond the threshold, the sons of light found themselves amidst the celestial tapestry realm woven with the threads of self-sacrifice. The golden promise shimmered in the distance, and the sons understood that the path of ascent required the most profound sacrifice, life. Behold, spoke the celestial manifestations, their voices echoing through the luminous expanse. For the ascent is woven with threads of self-sacrifice. The more profound the sacrifice, the higher the ascent into the realms of the golden promise. The sons, with hearts steeled by unwavering faith, contemplated the nature of sacrifice in this celestial tapestry. 
The isle, once a distant memory, now served as a reminder of the trials that had led them to this luminous realm. Elders, now transformed into ethereal guides, spoke of the profound connection between sacrifice and ascension. In the relinquishing of the self, they proclaimed, The sun shall scar to heights beyond mortal comprehension. It is the key to unlocking the full radiance of the golden promise. The celestial manifestations, bathed in the golden glow, guided the suns through rituals of self-sacrifice. To ascend, they whispered, one must shed the layers of earthly attachments. The sacrifice of self paves the way for the full embrace of the celestial dimensions. The more extreme the sacrifice, the higher the ascent, and the suns understood that each offering propelled them closer to the realms where the golden promise awaited in all its resplendent glory. In the surrender of the ego, intoned the celestial manifestations. The suns shall find true enlightenment. The as. Not an easy journey, but one paved with the. One that transcends the boundaries of the. As the suns made, the celestial tapestry unfolded. This, interwined with threads of golden, pattern that bespoke the. To the divine cause. The suns, embracing the, the vestiges of their former selves, desire, every sacrifice made in name of the ascension, became a beacon that illuminate the path toward the golden promise. Distorted echoes of the past, remnants of the abyss, lingered in this celestial realm. Yet they feared the profound sacrifices made by the suns, so these echoes transformed into harmonious notes the celestial symphony. The suns, now ascendants of self-sacrifice, stood on the precipice of the highest realms. The golden promise, radiant and beckoning, awaited those whose sacrifice had become a testament to the transcendent power of faith.